use the channel because I'm on. Now, if you've got kids in the room, there have been a brutal murder in broad daylight on the streets of London. A British soldier may have been beheaded. Authorities are saying it's likely a terror attack. Two armed suspects have been shot by police. One of them was caught on camera and delivered a statement with a machete in his bloody hands. What you're about to see is very disturbing. Through many, many ayahs throughout the Quran that we must fight them as they fight us. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. We ap I apologize that women had to witness this today. But in our land, our women have to see the same. You people will never be safe. Remove your government. They don't care about you. After that, the man walked off and was later shot, but not killed by police. Here's Brit British Prime Minister David Cameron today. I've been briefed by the Home Secretary about this absolutely sickening attack. Police are urgently seeking the full facts about this case, but there are strong indications that it is a terrorist incident. Uh, Eric, uh, what do you think is leading up to this being a terrorist attack? Well, I, I think it's, it, Greg pointed this out, that, that it, it, David Cameron immediately, immediately called it a terror, and I believe, didn't we hear that he yelled Allah Akbar at some point after he... he beheaded or almost yeah. beheaded the, the, uh, the police officer. Mm -hmm. So they call the terrorism right away. I'm not sure we would do that here. This is an attack on a British military um, member. Uh, if you remember workplace violence in the United States, that's what happened in Texas where there was a terrorist attack right. on our military. That is one of the things that they are, try to do. In Britain, I know that they were, the military there was advised not to walk around in their uniforms but to dress in civilian clothes so that they wouldn't incite any violence or terrorist attacks. I hope that they just absolutely obliterate the neighborhood there and let them know that this will not stand. Um, the British military is out there fighting for them. Look, this, this is so warped, sick, and we are at war with, with some of these extreme elements of Islam. There's no doubt in my mind. All right, Greg. Yeah, I, I uh, you know... It's just disgusting, and, and uh, I, don't, I, I always, I, I never want to see these people, these terrorists. I hate it when they're they're on film, and I wish we wouldn't have to look at them. I just wish that they would be killed. That's all I have to say. Well, you're probably right, Andrew. What do you think? <laughs> I think there's enough evidence to see it was a terrorist attack. He says we must we must fight them as they fight us. Who is us? What is he fighting for? He also says, and it wasn't part of the video, but he does credit this to Allah. This is radical Islam, and they will not stop until everybody is a Muslim or we were all ruled by Muslims. They want a caliphate. Read the history. This is not just some angry, upset teenager who grabbed a machete. This is a serious thing, and anyone who has any doubt that this is radical Islam has either had a full frontal lobotomy, needs their head examined, or is just completely okay. missing the point. Well, I'm, 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 I'm accused question? of that most of the time, but I will say this, that London has an extraordinary high percentage of Muslims that they, they allowed in. A lot of countries in Europe do. Yeah, but I mean, London is particularly packed with Muslims, and there's a lot of, uh, of, uh, of these elements who are unemployed, who are terrorists by training from their, from their uh, uh, clerics. Could I, I think this is probably is a that? terrorist attack. Yeah. Um, when I lived in France, they, and they have a similar problem with England, and Why so does Germany. In, in France? I studied there. Oh, God. I studied abroad for um, a year. They came, they immigrated. These countries asked them to come to the country to work. They had an employment problem. A lot of these Muslim countries, um, northern African countries, they immigrated to these countries, and now you have the younger generation that are more radical than their parents, and they have big problems on their hands because of immigration. Can, can I ask uh, a little observation about that video? Can you imagine being the, the guy holding the camera? Mm. Uh, I can uh, imagine. Oh, this machete, yeah. bloody hands, and people that's, like walking by, uh, like, oh, there's a guy. I'm scared to death. All right, one more thing.